Fan. What do employers want? I mean, behind every great portfolio is a great designer. It should be easy. But it's not. You see, employers aren't just looking for good work. They're looking for smart, hungry, enthusiastic, passionate, dedicated, driven, organized designers that are suited to their needs. But how do they know that that's you? You've got to prove it to them. The journey to a great design job starts long before the interview. First up, as a professional designer, you need a proper business name. Personally, I think when you're choosing a business name as a designer, it's always best to just go for your own name. Don't worry too much about trying to be a company or come up with a name for a design studio or something like that. Sometimes it's better to just be yourself and operate under your own name. Then write yourself a good bio. A good bio helps position you in the minds of prospective employers. It tells them what kind of designer you are, the kind of person you are, what kind of design work and projects you've done in the past. The good thing about writing a bio now means that you've got it there, so you can use it when you're writing emails for applications or to include on the about page of your website or your social media accounts. As a professional designer, you obviously need to look the part. So you're gonna have to design yourself a professional brand and identity and create a website to send people who are looking to find out more information about you or to check out your work. Get yourself some business cards made up. I know they seem kind of old school, but really there's still no better way to make a connection or to take advantage of an introduction than giving somebody your card. Be careful how you design your professional brand. You don't want to overcomplicate it too much. Better off to keep it simple. As a designer, it's much more important that you showcase your work so your identity shouldn't clash and kind of fight with the work that you've got. When it comes to social media, keep what personal life you need to keep personal and make sure that they only see what you want them to see. Okay, so let's talk about your actual portfolio. In my opinion, a portfolio needs to have a minimum of six projects in it. And each project needs to have a minimum of six design pieces. If you don't have that, then consider what opportunities there are to kind of roll out that project. Remember, it's really important to try and show your versatility as a designer. So if you can do photography, make sure you put that in. If you're a good illustrator, make sure you have a project with illustration in it. If you know animation, put that in. Try and show that you're able to turn your hand to different styles and different approaches so that employers can see that they can put you on any brief that might come into the studio. Finally, in terms of the design of the portfolio itself, strip everything away that you don't need. So page numbers, additional graphics that are on there that aren't part of your work. You want nice, full bleed images that really make an impact. Try and let your work speak for itself. Sometimes it's not about what you know, but who you know. Often a job opportunity can present itself through just like a chance encounter with somebody in the right place at the right time. So see what's going on in your local creative community. Get yourself down to the events or the workshops or the presentations that are going on. Forging a personal connection with somebody before the interview is the best way to leave a lasting impression. So what do employers want? Well, they want you. Applying for jobs and doing interviews, it's not easy. It can be pretty daunting at times, but just don't forget it's part of the process. So, Embrace it, learn from everything you can, and enjoy the journey. <laughs>